Hello fourth graders, it's Miss Ferguson. This is a short video that isn't like one of our typical lessons. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to talk about some of the student work that I've been receiving and give some glows and grows about those submissions. As you know, glows are the great things that we're seeing, positive things that we're noticing, and grows are ways that we can improve what we're submitting and improve our work and help ourselves grow as a learner. Some glows that I've noticed when I've been looking through student work, and remember student work is the work that's sent to me via email or picture message, and those are your daily writing assignments that should be submitted. These are also news ELA assignments because when you submit a quiz with a writing prompt, that is also something that I am taking a look at. Some of these glows were, I loved that I was seeing scholars picking character trait words not feeling words. I was worried because that is typically something that is difficult for scholars, especially when it's something new that we're talking about. And I am really impressed. I am seeing lots of girls that are picking really great character trait words. And then beyond that, you guys are using details from the text and connecting to that character trait. So you're really explaining how you know that your character has a specific trait and connecting details from the text and i really love that i'm also really happy to see that scholars are using rad so remember restate answer and then two details and working hard to write neatly and use their best grammar spelling and punctuation it always helps when something is being sent that I can read it clearly and when it's written so beautifully and I can tell so much hard work has gone into it, it really makes me happy. And lastly, taking assignments seriously and giving lots of effort. I understand that this is such a new way of teaching and learning for us. Trust me, it is new for the teachers as well and we're all in this together. And the fact that even though we're all working from home and this is a very new kind of thing, scholars are really taking their work seriously and the submissions I'm getting show me that even though you're not in a classroom and that you're at home kind of taking charge of this on your own with our support, you're doing a great job and I'm really proud of you. Some glows that we can work on. Be sure that you're always providing details and making sure that you're connecting the detail to your answer. I'm seeing great answers with RAD, but make sure that you're connecting the details you provide to your answer. Help the reader, in this case me, understand why that detail supports your answer. Also, make sure that you are submitting your work daily. Every day you have several assignments that are required of you. Your writing assignment that goes along with the YouTube lesson, like I said before, is what should be sent to me every day via a picture, an email, or however you wanna send it. Those I should be getting every day. You also have news ELA articles every day, and you should be reading and doing the quiz and writing prompt for one article every day. Some days I've seen that only 15 girls out of 33 that are signed up have submitted work or viewed an article, and I wanna make sure that we're getting everyone to read these important articles, because not only are they great information, a lot of times they go along with what we're working on in our lessons as well, so it's an extra level of learning and support. And lastly, evaluate yourself before you submit work. Think of those two point and four point rubrics that we've looked at. Do you feel that you have everything you need if you were the one scoring it? And if not, see what you can change or add before you submit your work. Again, I'm so proud of all of you. I know this is a very new and very challenging experience for us all. And I'm proud of the work that you're putting in. And I wanna just see how I can support you in making this even better. And I look forward to the videos I do every day and to talking with everyone that I get to speak with, whether it's via Dojo or on the phone or whatever it may be. Talk to you soon, girls.